Welcome to Ghostly Activities. I'm Jake Rice, and this is Sunset Tower Ghost Story. It had been a grueling week at an advertising agency not far from Sunset Strip. After the long hours, bitchy clients, and tight deadlines, three friends decided to celebrate the approaching weekend. We were going to the tower bar to have some of their delicious martinis, said Cindy, an executive assigned to a well-known pet food brand. At the last minute, we decided to go to the terrace and enjoy the sun and fresh air by the pool. The area was quiet. Normally, the terrace and tower bar were packed with patrons for happy hour. We had just ordered our martinis when we noticed a young woman in a flapper outfit walking back and forth by the elevators, said Kim, an analytics director. It was weird because the tower usually has signs for events like private parties. She stood out because the lobby was empty. The three friends continued to sip their drinks and gossip about work, but they kept seeing the dishwater blonde in the evergreen and gold-trimmed dress. I figured she was lost and too shy to ask for help. She would walk by the elevators, stop, look at her watch, and then go around the lobby again. I decided to ask her if she needed help finding her friends, said James, a digital marketing executive. Cindy and James got up from the table and approached her. She appeared to be in her mid-twenties with curly hair, gray eyes, and ballerina's build. She definitely looked the part for a costume party, or maybe an extra in a movie. It's L.A., so there could have been a TV show or movie filming, said Cindy. James asked her if she needed directions or if he could get the concierge to help. She gave short responses and seemed scared. She told me she needed to go to the rooftop, which was weird because it's just a few suites with balconies, James said. I really thought she didn't know where to go for the set. The three of them stepped into the elevator and pressed the button to the highest floor. Cindy tried to make small talk with the flapper girl, but she remained silent and stared at her watch. The elevator crawled its way to the top. What should have taken one minute seemed like ten. It groaned and rattled as it climbed the shaft. It never stopped at in between floors. As they neared the top floor, young Flapper changed. She got pale, almost translucent. You could see her veins through her skin. She started to cry and her mascara ran. But I think her eyes sank into their sockets, said Cindy. I was fucking petrified. When the elevator stopped and the doors opened, Cindy and James expected to see a film crew, but that lobby was empty. They turned around to check on the young lady. She was gone. Sunset Tower has no history of hauntings. It was built in 1929 and opened as a hotel in 1931. It's catered to mobsters, directors, actors, and novelists during its most popular period during the late 30s and 40s. It even served as a brothel for the most successful call girls in L.A. Thank you for listening to Ghostly Activities. For more ghost hunting tips and ghost stories, visit ghostlyactivities.com.